We're looking at the construction of a P6100 controller. Um, this is how the controller would be supplied to a customer. Um, the controller itself within its housing. Here we have uh, a gasket and right at the back a mounting clamp. If we take the controller out of its housing just by pressing on the sides here, there and there, and pulling, ease it out of the housing, and there's the controller. We can remove the um, controller boards from the front fascia here by just lifting up and pulling out from these, from the mounting struts here. So this is what it looks like. Here we have the power supply board. This one is this is a CPU board. Um, this is an output board that's fitted into output slot one. Now on the power supply uh, unit board you notice that the transformer here is yellow. Um, this is the transformer that's used on a main supply of voltage one, 110 to 240 volts AC. If we had a low voltage controller, 24 volt nominal 24 volt DC, the transformer on the power supply board is blue. So you can immediately tell what power supply um, is required for the controller. On the central, on the power supply um, unit board, we have a slot here where we can put in option cards for option slot A, for example, a digital input um, card, uh, RS485 communications card. Here is option three, which is an output board um, mounted in, in output slot three. On the CPU board, this is where we fit output, the option card for output 1 and also the option board for output 2 if required. Note that if you're going to fit an output board, the board that fits in output 1 is a different size to the boards that fit in 2 and 3. I've just got one here. Here's a relay board. For outputs 2 and 3, there's just one connection. For output 1, there's two connection points. So the output boards for 2 and 3 are physically different to the output board for option slot 1. With the front fascia, we, we see it's connected to the CPU board by this ribbon cable. Um, and the two boards, the CPU board and PS, uh, the power supply board were also connected by ribbon cable. If the front of the uh, controller gets damaged in any way, it can easily be changed. Here we've got a couple of um, connecting lugs. You can just lift these up and this will then come apart. Okay, so we can remove this board here. And then we've got the front fascia. So it's easy, it's easy to just replace just this front fascia if it's been damaged uh, at site somewhere.